Tomoka State Park is about 10 miles, what, north of Daytona? And mm -hmm. south of St. Augustine. So, Fred, what just happened on your walk with the dogs? Well, I uh, encountered this gentleman. I guess he recognized me from your videos. And he said, I watched your wife's video from a bicycle at Rodman. I said, yes, we were at Rodman. And also, I gave him the name of your YouTube channel, Elisa Explores, and told him about the great videos you made this year when we traveled to Utah and back. So that is definitely the first time anybody has ever recognized us like that. Yeah. Yes, sweetheart, you are a real celebrity. <laughs> Hey there, we just made it to Tomoka State Park. We are here for four nights. I can't wait to show you around this area. I'm really excited about it. I've done quite a bit of research online and it looks like it's gonna be a great park. So this is our campsite. We are in site number 30. It looks to be pretty secluded here. There's a lot of vegetation everywhere. And I think tonight we're just going to sit here and relax for the rest of the evening, re read some of the literature that they gave us about the park, and try to orient ourselves somewhat. You excited to be here, Fred? Oh yeah, it's like a nice park, I like it. This is the Tomoka Outpost. It is inside the gates for the state park. It says no videos inside the store, but we can video outside. And they rent canoes here, and there is an, um, a pontoon ride, but the pontoon motor is out right now, and they're not offering the pontoon rides. But they do serve beer here. There are the canoes that they rent. Boat ramps right there. Just sit here and have a drink. Bulo State Park. We're going to go in here and check this out. B U L O W. Bulo Creek State Park. There it is down here. Wow, that's really something. This is a huge tree. It is some kind of species of mushroom, isn't it? When I read this sign here, it says that the tree may seem about 2,000 years old, but it's estimated to be about 400 to 600 years old. Um, it says it's 70 feet tall and its branches spread over 300 feet. We thought there was a little bit more to that than what we just saw. Maybe it's in another location. I'm not sure. We're still investigating. This is really pretty back through here. Really pretty.
trail follows along the Atlantic Ocean for several miles. Interesting, the sand is not white. No white sandy beach here. But it is so pretty. It's October 24th. It's a beautiful sunny day. So this is a little this is a little parking area where you can access this beach. But this is a really nice place to come. It's so not crowded. There's only room for you know five or six cars here. Really nice. Well we've been driving around Ormond Beach looking at all these condominiums, looking at these beautiful houses that just line the ocean front. It's just gorgeous here. And the next For dinner tonight, I made this tuna noodle casserole. It has the breadcrumb topping, mushrooms, celery, onions, these little peas, and the noodles, cream of celery soup, and um, cheddar cheese. Well, it's Monday night, and I'm on my electric bike, and we're gonna take a quick spin through the campsite. Try not to kill myself pretty quiet on a Monday night. And that looks like another restroom facility there. We, we're in Site 30 and we have a, a restroom facility right across from our campsite. It's pretty nice. This looks like another one right here. And then over here is where we went down to the lake the other day, yesterday. The sand is not as easy to get through as a paved road, so. Pretty sure this is the way out of the park. A site 97 there. Ninety-six. Ninety-four. It's kind of a shallow site. And most of the sites have vegetation. Quite a bit of privacy. This is a nice campground. This is the back side of that restroom facility we saw a second ago. A 
could probably take that road right there and get back to our campsite. This should be up here. This should be us up here. So here's the restroom facility. And then we should be just here on the left, I hope, or else I really am lost. And I'm lost, because this is not us. Uh-oh. All right. I need to put this camera down focus on finding my way back to my campsite. <laughs> Took me a few minutes of driving around this park. This is a huge campground. Um, I had no idea how big it was until I just took that bike ride. Has a, a small campground feel, certainly. There's a lot of spaces here. Yes, I see our tent. Thank goodness. Here's our campsite, right here. I got a little lost. This is a big campground. In the back of this 2,000 acre state park, there is some sort of Indian monument. We're gonna go take a look at this. This was the first Indian village that was encountered by Spanish explorers. Their daily life included gathering shellfish, fishing, and growing crops such as corn and squash. Totally gone. The population else. here was believed to be in the tens of thousands. Wow. And you can see the, um, the intercoastal waterway right through there. And I've heard that this is in a bit of disrepair but it's still pretty cool to see. There appears to be a little path back here. Oh boy, look at this. A little bench where you can sit. Oh, we're at the tip of the peninsula at Tomoka State Park. So this is the very tip. It's quite pretty, isn't it? This is really a very pretty park and peaceful. My goodness, Fred and I were at the campsite today just sitting there. I fell asleep in the chair taking a nap. It was so quiet. The only thing you could hear were the squirrels barking at each other in the trees. It's a beautiful park, especially during the middle of the week. There's no one here. Here's a picnic area with waterfront access and a pavilion, very nice. Great place for a family reunion or a birthday party. So tonight for dinner, I made some ham and bean soup. You never know what you're gonna get in these pressure cookers. Hopefully it's gonna be good. Oh my gosh, so excited. I love it when it comes out looking like this. That looks great. I think we have a hit. This is a little public park area. It's called Bailey uh, River Bridge Gardens. There's the bridge and it's right on the water. It's very cute. It's 
So we are at the James Ormond Park, and this is the location of the tomb of one of the Ormonds. They owned a 2,000 acre cotton plantation farm in the early 1800s, and hence Ormond Beach. So there's a, his tomb is around here somewhere. We're gonna try to find it. That was in a nice shady area. It was a cotton and indigo plantation. 2,000 acres. They must have had a lot of slaves. I'm surprised that the liberals haven't made the state change the name of Ormond Beach. James Ormond died 1829. An honest man, it says. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's Thursday morning, about nine o'clock. We are almost packed up. Lily, come here. Lily, Lily. We have to keep the dogs out of the brush over here because there's a lot of leaf litter and that is just prime habitat for ticks. So we keep them right here in the middle and we have found one tick on Lucy. So it's always a scary thing. But uh, this has been a great park. We've really enjoyed it. A beautiful area um, on the east coast of Florida. And, um, you know, it's just another state park. Uh, checked off of the long list of Florida state parks that we have to enjoy. So thanks a lot for watching. Um, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And we'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.